Take some wine Step it down And tell me what you feel Does it violate your throat? Does it make you wanna choke? What's the appeal? Is it that food? Hello and welcome to another episode of the Full Mouth Feeling Show. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Yeah. Happy. Doesn't um, mean anything during these um, these times. Every but. day's the same. <laughs> well, I'm I'm Duncan Henry Kemp. I'm Alexis Steele. I have no middle name. No, you don't. Not mm. yet. This would, time. Do you want me to have one? Uh, would, would you feel more comfortable if I had a middle name? Um, I feel like you don't have a middle name because your parents don't love you enough. Mm. What would my middle name be if my parents loved me enough? How much do they love you, though? Oh, uh, that's a hypothetical scenario. I mean, right now, who? How long is it be the string? Okay, but they would give you like I don't know, maybe a nice one like Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Full Mouth Feeling uh, podcast where Duncan berates me. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm I'm your host, Duncan Henry Kemp. Uh, Alexis, no middle name, Steele. Or? D- Alexis Henry Steele? Yeah. yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, let's rehearse that again. Hello and welcome to the Full Mouth Feeling show. I'm your host, Duncan Henry Kemp. <sighs> I'm Alexis Henry Steele. It doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? It doesn't. It does for me. I like it. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it swings. This is the wine podcast that... It's not really about wine. No, it I mean, doesn't it's know about anything wine. about wine. We don't know anything about wine either. We're not wine connoisseurs. We're not sommeliers. We're not... We're not wine daddies. We're not wine daddies. We don't... I don't even like wine. No, um, you don't. And that's kind of what the show's about, right? It's about me... A wine drinker. A wine consumer trying to get you to enjoy wine, specifically yeah. with me. Yeah, yeah, um, and yeah, that's that's the journey we're on. We're we're we've made some progress, but we're still very much on our journey. So we're we're trying wine. Apparently, I'm trying wine for some reason. Yeah, and you want to subject me. So let me get this. Like I want to get this straight because it's just every time the goalposts get moved a little bit further yeah. like when i like the wine you're like oh no we have to like the same wine and if i like a wine that's clearly you know nice and you're like okay well this is to- tolerable then you're like oh well this is not a real wine right i sound confusing that doesn't <laughs> yeah. sound like a good picture of me no yeah i think my goal is for you to enjoy wine with me and enjoy wine in a, a conventional sense in a broad sense so um if we went to a restaurant <clears throat> we can order a white wine and then maybe a red wine and we can both oh, enjoy you want it me together to have you want me to enjoy random wines no you don't, obviously you're not obliged to enjoy all wines but to be able to tolerate that basic grapey wine taste oh yeah that's horrible yeah and that's i don't know how you people dislike. do it when yeah. you say you people i mean you and whoever else drinks wine <laughs> wine daddy obviously but yeah i want you just to be um, uh yeah i just want us to be ex- not excited about wine i don't think that's the level i want i just want you to be able to have a wine with me yeah. that, that's it one or two glasses three yeah four <laughs> um and that's 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 all i want that's all I want. I think that we have access to lots of yum yums in the wine thing, and and yeah, just want to explore that with you, and um, not have to go to a wine bar with you, and for you to drink <laughs> beer at wine bar. Jesus Christ, you're so traumatized by that. <laughs> no, it's just like, the perfect it's, anecdote. It's, it's a, it's gone almost a year. Like you have to let it go. It's the perfect anecdote. That's you have to let it go. It's not. I'm not triggered by it. It's you, just. <laughs> Look at you, you're triggered. No, right now. Stop, you're making me feel. No, okay, listen, it's just an anecdote. It's the broader picture here, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, jeez. <laughs> Gosh. It's horrible out. Uh, I don't know why, it's July. 
I think the funny thing is uh, you, you can never please British people in weather. There's no. no, there's no optimal. There's no, there's no pleasure. <laughs> there's no optimal pleasure. So um, I have a landlady, and her name's Izzy. She's a lovely woman, um, and she. I've lived here for about seven, eight months. <clears throat> And I moved here in October. So I've been here throughout the winter. Mm. And she she just doesn't really go outside. Unless she's obviously going to do things like visit friends before the COVID thing. But she doesn't go outside. She's saying, oh, it's too cold. It's freezing, 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 freezing cold. And even when a bit of sun's out, you see her with a with jacket. Because uh, I think she feels the cold. Mm. Anyway, so we had a beautiful day the other week. Ugh, it was just an amazing day. <laughs> and it was the first time I've seen her outside. And she has a beautiful property. It's, yeah, yeah. It is gorgeous. It is they spend a lot of time on it. And it's beautiful. Beautiful views and everything. So I finally saw her outside enjoying the sunshine. And I'm walking past her and go, oh, are you right, Izzy? How you doing? And she goes, bit hot. And like, bitch, like, don't, Come on. don't give me that. Don't, like, this is the day you've been waiting for. Just the one day, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, don't, don't, don't criticize it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and What um, is it with British people and whether... Is there's it, no pleasing them. Yeah, but why? Um, That's the thing. Like, you don't see Greek people going around going, oh, it's too hot all the time. Some do. Some do. And... Mm. Yeah, like when it's forty-five degrees outside, you kind of, you're kind of allowed to say it's a bit warm. Mm. But you know, when you live in what used to be like rainforests, and you're like, oh, it's too rainy, it's kind of your fault, isn't it? Maybe, maybe just move. What's the the ideal temperature for uh, Britons? I always thought this would be a great game show. Yeah, what's or, or your a great I- experiment or something? <laughs> what's the optimal temperature? It'll for be Brit- like um, down to the fucking decimal, right? Like it- it'll be twenty five point three. No, it'll be like twenty four point five six <laughs> zero zero one. It will be. It'll be very yeah. precise. Yes, yeah. very precise, um, and. I don't know what you do with that information. Anyway, uh, um, no, okay, we're moving on. We're so wine podcast. We're... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what we do. We we can non we can stop being a wine podcast. I'd be I'd love to review anything about wine. But yeah, so anyone that's just tuned in to Full Mouth Feeling and thinking. Greg. Yes, Greg. Um, and thinking, when are these guys going to start talking about wine? Well, it's now, okay? We're going to start talking about wine no. now. Yeah, we uh, we went out and bought some wine. Um, and here is us buying it. We're on our way. Okay, so I'm going to spin the wheel. First one is the colour of the wine. So I'm spinny, 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 spinny. It's a cheeky rosé! A oh. cheeky rosé, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you love, it. love it, yeah. Okay, so we're getting a rosé. Are you happy with that? Um, yeah. Yeah. It's not really summer weather for rosé. Um, summer, though. Technically, yeah. Okay, spin the wheel to... Um, okay, so country. Country, ready? Spinny, 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 spinny. Oh, it's Italy. <laughs> Italy. Oh, no. I feel like, uh, sorry, Italy. Sorry, you have to deal with us again. Sorry. Well, you make so much wine, you're yeah. bound to, like, have some flack from us. And yeah. we are the worst. We yeah. are literally yeah. the worst. Yeah. Um, okay. But if it makes you feel any better, you're much better than us. Okay, the third one is how much is we going to spend? Okay, ready? Spinny, 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 no, 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 zero to five pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's the exact amount I like to spend to, for wine. Zero to zero, but like realist, I don't want to spend for wine. But yeah, zero to five is perfect. Oh, cheeky little walkout. Cheeky uh, little Lucas side. Ah, lads will be lads. Lads will be lads. So we just had a lad just kind of walk out in front of us and give us a look while drinking Lucasade with tracksuit bottoms. I mean, he had, he's pulling out the stops. He's uh, he's definitely a sort. Yes. So um, anyway, to the shop. To the shop. Farewell, good listeners. Greg, bye. A full mouth feeling podcast. 
Okay, and welcome back to the... Um, the Judgment Show. There's Dina right there. Cheeky Dina. Dina was looking at us real nice. You are, mate. Um, her cheeky little white gallo family's looking Ugh. at me. Don't... Just don't. winking, winky, nope. winky. Sparkling rosé. Italia. Yeah. Six no. pound. That's yeah, the cheapest pound. one I've seen. Um, um, how about this? Like, okay. Yeah. It's Fuck sparkling. It. Uh, it's called Plaza Pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Italia Plaza Centro. It's it looks like it actually has like a poppy cork. Mm -hmm. um, it's six pounds, so it's close enough. But honestly, we don't have a lot of options. Let's we go for it. Let's whack in the basket. Yeah. Let's get out of the judgment yeah. show. Listen. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah, um, that was horrible. That was, yeah, I really didn't enjoy that. I still feel my energy levels are still really low. I'm just like, oh, it put me in a bit of a bad mood. Do you know um, that vibe you were keep talking about, Peniston? Yeah. That was in full force today. Yeah, it was, I think they had a big ritual last night. <laughs> A big one, you know? Oh, yeah. There was a few, like, infightings with um, the other... Some tribal stuff <laughs> happening, you know? Um, uh, some conflicts. Yeah, but um, it wasn't nice. It wasn't... We had to go in and out, and um, we apologized because we couldn't find a five and under yeah. um, rosa, even though I would really love to. We had to pay six pounds. It's a whole pound extra. Yeah. And I understand you redacted something from the pairing for... Yeah, that's right. I mean, I just, I actually struggle. I don't know what you meant to pair with a rosé. I'm not 100% sure. I had to Google it. I tried to use the Vivino app as well, but again, it didn't really seem to have any information for hmm. me. So I had to kind of wing it. Okay. Um, and when uh, you've wung it, wung it? Yeah, I wung it. I don't, I don't, I'm happy How with it. How is the past tense of winging it? Um, I just wunged winged it. it. Winged it? Winged it? When you winged it? Wung it? Wung it? I winged it. Wung it. Wong it's fine. Wong it. I'm, I know what you mean. Wang it. Wang it. Wankle. Wong it. No? Okay. Um, okay. The wine we got is um, a Plaza Centro, Plaza Pink, a fresh, fruity Italian sparkling wine, Italia. That's the only thing that's on the front label. Does it have a year or anything? Or some digits? No, maybe that's not what rosé does. Maybe it's not sparkling wine rosé brut. I don't know what that means. Oh. I'm pretty sure that still can't count as rosé, right? <laughs> um, yeah, no, no year on it, so no vintage. I reckon maybe it's not meant to be A vintage. vintage thing. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Wine daddy wouldn't hold this. No, you don't hold this. Uh, but yeah, it, it's Plaza 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 Plaza, Plaza Centro. Um, eleven percent, uh, and it's made by produced by C. R. Campergine in Vanosa, Italy. Um, nice. C. I don't know C. Nice. R. Campergine. All these like wine producing things have a very very weird names. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a fizzy one, so it's uh, got that prosecco slash champagne sort of vibe. And um, I am really traumatized by the plastic top on uh, oh, the yeah. mini prosecco. So I remember, yeah. uh, if it doesn't have a plastic top, I'm just gonna uh, we're just gonna stop the podcast, take it back, and we get our money money back. Like we'll demand to see the manager. Yeah, yeah. there will be two angry Karens. Mm, um, I have to do like I'll have to put a wig. You have to get a haircut. Yeah, but we'll we'll do it. We'll make it. Work. You can use over the leftover hair right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we found the solution for that. <clears throat> cool. The wig problem is solved. Of course. That <laughs> so, was our biggest problem. <laughs> it was, it was. Um, okay, well, shall I open it? Are you yes, have for me please, to go yeah. ahead? Oh, yeah. So, Duncan is tearing off the um, oh, you wrapper thing. Oh, yeah. And it revealed that it, I think it actually has a cork thing. It does. Oh, uh, yes, that's, um, that's good. I didn't want to drive back to that disgusting place. Also, I don't feel like they would have taken out complaint seriously because you know we're we not related to them yeah and we weren't at the ritual so. <laughs> so um yeah it looks legit it looks fine Dun duncan is taking the okay. thing off okay so if i pop the cork what do you want do you just want a plain boring pop or do you want like a pop pop where we pop it well but aren't you gonna mess up your carpet no no it's fine oh wait yeah uh, oh no no because i won't let it spill how do you... Can you guarantee that? Okay, there is one caveat. 
<laughs> if it does get all frothy, yes. I might have to put my mouth over it. That's just not like. Uh, I kind of want to pop. Oh. No, I think that's a champagne thing. Just, just say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. When we get us, I tell you what. If I'll it pops it. here, then that's fine, right? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh. That Jeez, that was loud. That terrified me. Do yeah. you see how scared <laughs> I was? We, I wasn't expecting that. I feel like I've got um. <sighs> Top you up there, boy. Yeah, okay, ready? Ready for some... Yeah. Mm. Ping. Oh, that sounds... There's a sound to it. Mm. We don't have the, like, prescribed wine glasses. The, um, right. the fluties. Ooh, it's got a really strong smell to it. Oof. It's, yeah. Hmm. Get some ASMR down your gullet. You fucking love that ASMR, don't you? Mm. Yeah. Um, I love that, like, um, <laughs> that, like, s that, like, London sheepy, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so, I'm not sure what the process is with rosé, fizzy, sparkling rosé. I'm gonna do the process we've always done, because right, it's yep. a tried and tested method, and... I'm sure it's nothing bad's gonna happen if we do it. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. James okay. Suckling might get angry. Um, I get a smell. Might be a bit angry. Oh yeah, get that down. Yeah. He loves that. It's your cheap wine smell. It's uh. Yeah, yeah. I, your I can. Cheap wine smell with a bit of strawberry into it, maybe. Cheeky, cheeky. Uh, um. Yeah, it's a uh, light smelling, very sort of like citrusy. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Very fruity though. It's yeah. extremely fruity. Yeah, it has that fruity vibe to it, obviously. I'm going to I don't know what the the process with the tannins is. So Greg, um if you're listening obviously, you told us that it's supposed to run down the side of the glass, but I don't know how it works with a rosé. It, it's just running it's down just the side. It's getting fizzier when I when I swirl it. Yeah. Maybe like yeah, I think like maybe like red berries, like strawberry, raspberry, kind of that thing. <laughs> Just gonna. Strawberries. <laughs> Are you getting the strawberries? Yeah, I get definitely getting yeah. them strawberries. Tell me when you're going for a sip. Um, I'll go for a sip now. Cheers. Um, cheers. How's that, mate? Oh, you're shaking your head, your hands to your mouth. Oh God, what <laughs> the fuck? Mm. <laughs> it's the same every time. <laughs> oh, God. This is not nice. Oh, this is just... Oh. <laughs> Rubbing his head. Um, just nah. shaking his head, like, yeah. vigorously. Tongues out. Do you know what my favorite... Oh, it's still there. The taste <laughs> is still there. Like, what the... F I can't... Oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what? This is much better than than enjoying wine with you. Is seeing seeing you suffer. Like I, I, I like this. This, 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 this dynamic's fine for uh, me. You know? This is this this is not nice. Okay, wow. just just hear mm. me. Just oh, it's still there. Oh, mm. <laughs> you, you hate. Do you know? Wine so okay, much. do you know when you had a strawberry that's way too unripe? Oh, it's really bitter. Is is that yeah, like? Yeah, it's just, it's not necessarily bitter, very acidic, not sweet. It has that strawberry vibe about mm. it, but it's like, it's not a good strawberry. It's just sour, it's mm. just unpleasant. It has that, it has that like underripe yeah. um, strawberry thing going for it. I am, oh wow, this is not, not nice Not your jam, at all. that's you, fine. I think that. Um, it's for me. There's some, um, yeah. Oh, mm. oh, round two. There's some melon vibes in there. Um, how's your heartburn? Is that 
It's actually not too bad. I no, said I one. said melon. I did say melon. You did. You did. You did. It was um, quite clear, like notes of melon. The aftertaste is just lingers forever. Jesus That's Christ! It's around for a while, isn't it? It's dry. It's sort of I like feel like it's all the bad bits of the the taste as well. Yeah, just yeah. Hanging around. It's just um, I don't know how to describe that taste. It's um. It dries out your mouth and your yeah, cheeks. Yeah, you find yeah. that your cheeks are just completely dried out. The question is, yeah. does it taste better than a Dino? For you. Gosh, I feel like I need a Dino here. It's close. <laughs> it's close. It has a very... I've tasted Dino and it has a very close proximity to it. In it does. That it's pretty terrible. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Mm. It's not the worst wine I've tasted. No, it's... By, by any means. I it's... Think... Um, it's not terrible because it's palatable um it's not like overly sour um it's like i don't want to give the score already but it's like a it's like a 4.5 out of 10 you know it's like it's, it's like yeah. just below medium yeah yeah, yeah i could I'd see say. that yeah um just i don't know like um my my sort of point of view of this wine is that it's too bad of a wine to yeah. be to be six pounds first of all it's like, overpriced absolutely it's quite overpriced it might be that it is italian i don't know if that sells or anything italian. yeah <sighs> just the italians will just ruin anything <laughs> <laughs> sorry italy or just not sorry, like mm. okay. Um, I feel like Italy needs a break. Do you know what I mean? They they need to they need a five. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna read what's on the back. We'll come or back you, for them. But yeah, you want to read on what's on the back? No, no, you go I... for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not great at reading anyway. So. Right. A fresh, fruity Italian sparkling wine made from grapes grown in the northeast of Italy. Wait, northeast? That's where Marco's from. Oh, we should give yeah. him a call. Um, delicious summer berry fruit. Fla fr delicious summer berry fruit, fruit flavors and lively fro floral notes um that's interesting oh, like floral notes did you get any um floral if just it's like you know how me. when you go into um a florist and it's just too smelly so your heart your your head aches yeah that's it that's like yeah. <laughs> you want to walk, walk into like a perfumery and it's just like, oh, God, my head, my head's just overwhelmed by the smell. Um, but in this case, I don't know what, why the headache. Yeah, I, I don't get the floral thing. I just get the fruity. Mm. I don't, that's the only notes I get is huh. fruitiness. It says perfect chilled for any occasion or try with fresh fruit salads. Oh, okay. Fruit salad. Yeah. You know, I almost got some strawberries with it. Oh, okay. That's almost what I did for the pairing. But... You know, oh god, sound a bit nice. Um, so I'd say I, yeah. Well, that's all my notes I have for this one. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, I, it's just fruity for me. That's all the I thing pick is, up. I don't know. I don't, I don't enjoy the packaging. Like you have to understand, dear listener, Greg. This was the only wine that we could find from Italy that was a rosé mm. in our like local Tesco's. Los, yeah, <laughs> obviously. But we need to get out of there, like, pronto. Oh, yeah. And um, it, it's not a good-looking wine. Like, uh, the design is yeah, pretty Yeah, the design, bad. I was going to say design, looks pretty cheap. It's, it's it, Yeah, it's. I'd say disgusting, but obviously I am a snob. If I saw this, like, I'd, I'd definitely say this is um, bottom of the barrel. And I don't, that, this is the thing, like, what would you even buy this for? Like, why would you need a sparkling rosé that badly? I think some people just enjoy sparkling rosés, maybe. Greg, can you enlighten us? You ran a Prosecco company. Yeah. You must have some market research. Email us at fullmouthfeeling at gmail.com. Yeah, some people just like a bit of babble. That, a bit of babble. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, uh, I'd sacrifice the bubbliness for anything else. Like, uh, I think that... The, this is my theory, right? Mm. They made this wine, and they're like, "Oh, this is bad, bad." <laughs> and then they're saying, "Well, what do we do? We've got all these, this whole, um, you know, all these barrels of wine. I don't know how mm. they'd store them." And um, again, you know, not the wine guys. Uh, and 
and they're like well what can we do we're going to go bankrupt and then one guy was like let's put a load of bubbles in it <laughs> that would disguise the taste do you know what i reckon or girl it could have been a woman it could have been a woman yeah do you know what my estimation is so i'm gonna throw yeah. something out there for you um there was this this wine company, and they made this wine. It was cheap, and it's a, oh, yeah. it's, a, it's along your lines. But what they thought was like, put more bubbles in it. Uh-huh, so when the pop goes, it's like really loud. It's really like a oh, big thing. You know how yeah. you, when you popped it, we were like shook a little bit. Yeah. Um, I reckon this is just celebration wine with the co- like, and the idea is that. A, most of people are going to be pissed by the time this is going to be open. That's right. And B, half of it's going to go on the floor. Do you know what I've just... What's that? A poor man's Formula One. What would a poor man's Formula One be? Okay, so you have loads of different levels Mm -hmm. of racing. Racing like uh, shopping carts around your Tesco's at night? Um, Yeah. No, um, so you've got different... uh, Again, um, this isn't going to surprise our listeners, but don't really know much about motorsport no um even though i used to do a bit of work for oh, i um, did um r- race shopping carts around our supermarket when we were kids yeah yeah not not the same thing but maybe <laughs> it is we can link it back in just just two seconds so um you have lo- those different uh tiers and i can't really call them levels i'm not yeah, sure what the correct word I, is i had a friend who um you've met him Nikitas. uh he ran formula three in greece yeah so formula three but there's like there's some bottom 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 ones <laughs> formula i have like 15 just, um yeah yeah so it's formula nothings so there's different race series um and obviously you got y- your formula one uh, formula race series i don't know so far one to two think three one. Might, there might even be a four there's um the gt3 things there's uh le mans whatever that race series i don't is. think that's supercar stuff supercar, there's yeah. loads of different categories and there's all the variation of them but the point is you get some dirty bottom ones you can get go-karts yeah. you know that, yeah, that yeah. run on the same system so my point is that this dirty <laughs> headachey word taking fizzy rose is that why it has a checker Thing, exactly this flag. is this is what i'm getting to oh. these this is what i'm making so this is for when they don't have much budget and someone wins a championship but they don't want to spend all the money on champagne yeah yo uh, why is it pink um well that's not do you know what i mean like uh maybe <laughs> it doesn't it's uh, maybe, maybe it photographs better yeah maybe they yeah um, um yeah um pff, i could see how this would be a just a wine to toss away but then six pounds yeah well, they get a deal I guess, yeah, maybe we got it expensive. And then, and then we can also raise the level. You know, it can be a mid-level one if the price points. Yeah. Um, but it's extra had, fizzy for the, ch- the yeah, spraying. That's what that's what I was thinking, is either that or you're, like, it's for people to kill other people with a cork. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for, like, competitive... <laughs> Corking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't know what, uh, what to really think about this wine. Should we try the pairing? Yeah, I'll go and get it. I'm going to... It's fish, isn't it? Oh my god, it's gonna be fish. Uh, oh no, it's fish. <laughs> oh, what the me? fuck? Wait, what is this? What's a plit pilchard? Yeah, a bit of this, a bit of that. Oh, wait. Oh, it smells horrific. It's a delicious fish, oh, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> Some delicious fish for your delicious beverage. Oh, wow. What? Uh, what's a pilchard? It's a type of fish. Uh, w- uh, wait, is a Glenrick pictured? What? Mm. What is a Glenrick? Oh, it's like good, good mate. It's uh, really good. Oh pi- my god! I no. I'm, why did I? Uh, why did I? Why did I? Why did I walk into this? Why I've been I've been treating you well recently, you know, with our pairings, and <laughs> this is the penalty. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Okay, if I I do I only have to pair once, right? I don't have. To You're pair a free twice. man. You can do what you want. It's in hot chili sauce, so maybe that'll... See, that was the, my compromise. I wasn't going to make you eat straight fish. Mm. But, you know, I was on a budget, so... How much did this cost? Well, I need to pair you with fish, right? Yeah. And this was the cheapest thing I could find at 50 pence. <sighs> so it was a bit over my budget. I'm normally wow. trying to go for 40 pence. Uh, oh, God. Oh, yeah. You need uh, to get the wine down you first, right? I guess. this. Oh wine, God, food, this wine. Looks... 
This does not look nice at all. No. It looks... This is the worst thing you've ever done. Really? Is... What about the cockles? Do you remember the cockles? The cockles, at least, you know, you could... Uh, they don't smell as bad. This this smells really bad to me. Really. Yeah. Oh, Hopefully okay. it's cooked as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it is. It, yeah. it falls apart really easily. Yeah. And also, why would they put red sauce in if if it wasn't cooked? Yeah, good point. Oh, yeah. Get that down, you mate. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Cool. Mm. So oh God, careful Jesus with Christ. this. And then remember the wine straight after. Wine, wine, go for the wine. Go for the wine. Go for the wine. Go for the wine. How's that for you? Oh, <laughs> rubbing up the face. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's a little fucking fit going on. <laughs> you're just rubbing, holding your face. Oh, you're like... <laughs> you know when someone has a chili pepper and it's just way too hot? <laughs> you are struggling. You want to get out of your own skin. This is what this looks like. You. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh. 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 I have to drink more wine to get the... To <laughs> That's the right, mate. That's right. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, is it coming out? Are you being sick? Don't be sick on my floor, please. Please don't be sick on my floor. Ah. All right. Um, Are you yeah, basically, I tried to wash the fish out with the wine, but... The wine's fizzy, so it sort of fizzed up in my face, I, and it was I like. I sincerely felt you were going to be sick on my floor for a second. Oh, this not sick, but spit no. it out. Oh, this was bad. This was mm. bad, bad. Your face this isn't was a bad, bad, bad. Isn't too red. Normally, mm. that's the first thing, but yeah. You know, oh you... wow! Why would you ever buy this? Why would you ever buy? Why would anyone mm. want this? Why would anyone for the want full mouth feeling show? No, exactly. But like. <laughs> Why would you make and can and catch all those poor, poor fish? Yeah. This is disgusting. This is not no. nice. Why? Who? Who? Podcasts. Who needs? Who needs? Whatever a fucking pilchard is in hot sauce. Podcasts of This Is Act Dynamic. I doubt <laughs> he made it with us. In <laughs> I don't know. There's probably like a sketch of us somewhere Jeez, in someone's oh, office. It's coming back up. Um, mm. Mm. You know how I, I mean, normally try the pairing? Just, this is disgusting. Not gonna. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh, since 1937. Oh. Really? You've been doing this for like nearly 80 years. Over 80 years. Yeah. Jesus. 83. And it's successful. How, like, because otherwise they wouldn't be going. How is this successful? Who eats this? So, I think that it's fine. Yeah. Is um, it? No, it's not fine. Nothing's fine this episode. Uh, I this feel is like, the, like, I do you know, feel er terrible. Everything's been bad this episode. The weather. Yeah, the weather, the shopping. Peniston. The, this wine. The pairing. Um, the pairing. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, From bad to worse. At least it's spicy. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing that's good for it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I hate that I'm drinking wine to get the fish taste out of my mouth. Perfect. Oh god. Is that what a pairing's for, mate? Maybe. Mm. <clears throat> <sighs> but yeah, so this wine, I reckon, if you're racing your um, go kart, <sighs> shopping cart, <laughs> okay, around the Peniston Tesco. Yeah, at night, um, and you, yeah, you need something to crack open to formally celebrate your victory, your series. Yeah, so yeah. you've won the championship yeah. in your race series. Then you go up to like racing, don't know, like uh, like a piggyback on on someone, <laughs> the Tesco yeah. employees. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, or like, do you know those? Um, the pallet uh, movers in the warehouses. Yeah, yeah, Th yeah. Those probably be the next step. Right. Up. Yeah, yeah. Um, they don't have a motor still, but uh, hmm. yeah. is it technically motor? It's not motorsports if they don't have a motor, right? Yeah. Um, you could put a tiny. You could put a tiny little motor on the car, and therefore it has a motor on it. Yeah. It doesn't have to do anything. No, it won't have to. Like, uh, just yeah, be... just take an electric toothbrush and, like, yeah, just um, gaffer to tape it to the, yeah. uh, the thing. We'll just put it in the, the shopping cart. Just yeah. leave it there. <laughs> Buy an electric toothbrush, toothbrush mm. race it around your parking lot motorsport. Mm. Yeah, motorsport. Yeah, and crack this open when you win, because inevitably, because no one else is going to... 
yeah. be there yeah. or race you or think you're sane. And then at the end, when you win, you have the podium, which is probably probably just a curb, isn't it? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we hand out, we'll be there, because obviously, oh, realistically, this yeah, is our like, idea. This um, is... Uh... <laughs> And then we'll hand it out. It is trademarked. Yeah, um, we'll hand out like we'll give you a single bottle of this, and then you can shoot it all over everyone. And um, we'll probably go at that point. We'll yeah, probably, no, like, we, look, we, we we have other things to <laughs> yeah. do, and I mean, we will hang out around a little bit because you yeah, know because we... we've called the police and we're like, this man <laughs> or woman has been acting recklessly. Yeah, they also stole a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't pay for it. And then they'll come up and they're like, well, well, no. I don't know why they're posh, but everyone in Penniston's posh in my head. Well, no, no, no. The, the fellas told me that the, the they, they bought the toothbrush. And we'd be like, we didn't sure say the officers. Did, we yeah. didn't we didn't say that. Um, um, Prove it. Yeah. Uh, this is preposterous. <laughs> and, and, like, and then he'll be like, going to the police. So, Derek, you going to the ritual later? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> And he'd be like, oh, am I your father? Gosh, yeah, I forgot about that, yes. <laughs> Let's, um, I think we Pavino. need to, yeah, I think we need to um, figure out what other people have to say about this wine. Absolutely, I've already got it up. So, it is a 3.1 out of 5, which I think is about right. I would give it's it a, a bit, bit lower. High, yeah. I'd give it a bit lower, personally. Um, 2.5 would be a bit much. Okay, so let's listen to some reviews str- str- sweet strawberry and cream on the nose dry and refreshing on the palate better than i was expecting that was from james Q- qk is it better than you were expecting duncan it's exactly what i expected it's a bit less uh i don't know what i was expecting i honestly don't know what i was expecting i was expecting it to be sweeter i was expecting yeah. it to be a bit fruitier i wasn't expecting it to be this dry and I didn't expect this headache. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, I I am worried about tomorrow. That'd be fine. Okay, so <laughs> someone's... That, but... That'd be fine, mate. Um, so, everyone's given... There's a mixture here. Someone's given it five stars. What? Some criminal. <laughs> dry it's, and... and this, what an absolute primer. Li- listen to this comment as well. This doesn't reflect the... F- everyone's given it, like, a between... You know, it's a lot of one stars, yeah. two stars, three stars, and four stars. It's a real mix. Josh Stickland has given it dry, fruity, tasty. Five stars. Like, motherfucker. Dry, that's... fruity. Yeah. He's, he's not... He's not... Completely wrong, yeah. 60% of it. Yeah, yeah. But t- or 66%. 40% of it. Oh, Joan Stickland. It's a, it's a lady. Oh, okay. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't, no. Um, so, it has a funny t- uh, aftertaste, not a fan. That's what. Yeah, it does have a funny Charlie, aftertaste. Charlie, I'm not going to say that. Um, what? Wait. Uh, is it a racist slur? It's not racist, but if I say it, it will become racist. Wait, um, can I see? No. What? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wait, how? It's like, I, okay, I think I'm worried that we're going to go down an avenue. Of I could be wrong. People's of, names. A, of, of a racial slur. Look, can and I see? <laughs> it's, it's like, it looks Welsh. Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce it. Yeah, that. yeah. It's, it's, uh, well, we, to be fair, I think you can be racist against the Welsh. I know we can, mm. but I'm just thinking, gone pretty hard on some other guys. I wouldn't mind having a go on the Welsh, actually, now I'm thinking about it. This what? is what I was worried about. This is what I'm talking about. This is the... Well, this is the, the... The Welsh are lovely, though. They are much better than the British, the English. Yeah, no, yeah. I I don't know about that. Um, as in, like, I don't know... I mean, uh, it, from from the Welsh people that I have met. Welsh? No, Wales. we're doing it. We're going down the. the we're going down the the Welsh roast. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, maybe we need to lay into the Brits a bit more. <laughs> well, um, can I tell you some winemakers' notes? Sure. Yeah. A seductive, sparkling rosé <sighs> wine I with an intense, fruity. Uh, seductive. What does that mean? Bouquet. What's seductive? Bouquet. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. So, seductive, sparkling rosé wine with an intense fruity bouquet and a lingering taste that recalls the sensations anticipated at the nose. Does that make sense? What recalls the sensations anticipated, anticipated at the nose? At the nose. So, whatever it's what you sniff is what you taste, basically. What about a one star? And we just comment like "fuck off." No, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is gonna be. 
Okay. First of all, yeah, I mean, it's. I don't think it's a one it's star. It's a two point. It's a two star. Four. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a two star. I give it two star. Yeah, yeah. I feel can, like that's. Can fair. you do like half star? Yeah, we can apparently. Oh, okay. Well, two point five maybe, just like absolute middle of the road. So I've given it two point five stars. Um, I said, I was out racing my trolley around Ten- Peniston Tesco's <laughs> last night. I was lucky enough to win the championship by a technicality. Brackets, I was the only one competing. <laughs> to celebrate my victory, the organisers, brackets, full mouth feeling, gave me this wine. I didn't drink any, but it was perfect to spray all over the car park. Sadly, there was a miscommunication and I was arrested for a stolen toothbrush in the car. This was really disappointing as I missed the big town slash family ritual that night. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's um exactly... The review, but and that's exactly the only reason why would you you would use it, and that's exactly probably why it has a checkerboard um, flag design on it. Um, I think so. That's why why Link was. I don't know why it has to come from Italy. I don't know why it couldn't just be some some soda in a, a glass bottle with a cork. But hey, yeah. Um, what can you do? We've drank most of it. And yeah, it's I have, horrible. But, um, do you know what I wanted to talk to you about? Yes. Who's the sponsor for this show? Who's sponsoring us? Well, um, the I don't league. Think we have a sponsor. Like the, I haven't uh, thought about it. The trolley racing league. Of course, they're they're the sponsor. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear. Let's hear the sponsor. Formula T is all about pressure. These are the athletes. They they don't care if they live or die. That's what sets them apart. And that's what makes them special. I mean, anyone can push a trolley, right? But can you push a trolley? around a car park while doing a light jog. What I do is I just pray for a safe race that my son doesn't die or get arrested again. Yeah, I mean, twisted metal, broken bones, empty cider bottles. This is a common sight at Formula T. Oh, and Terry stopped for a nap just before the finish line. I think he's had far too much cheap cider. Alexis and Duncan present a Full Mouth Feeling Special. Jerry wins again, it's another victory. He's come first place out of, well, he's the only one, but he's first, that's yeah, what counts. Yeah, in most seasons, it's, it's just me competing, um, which puts a lot of pressure on me to, you know, turn up. Yeah, the whole sport changed when Taylor came along, a young lad, um, he changed the game. Yeah, I suppose when, when Taylor realised he could get cheap alcohol for free, you know, of course he's, he's going to compete and try and win. He's 14. Now Terry has some real competition. That's right, Tom. Young Taylor is looking to fight his way up the leaderboard, providing it's not a school night. You can fuck off, you homeless cunt. Uh, piss off, Taylor. Do you reckon you can lend me a quid for some cider? There's some real hostility between these two. I've never seen such rivalry in Formula 2. I think Taylor's got unfair advantage because he's got a home. Formula T Championship. Find out at Tesco's car park in Peniston on Friday night, just after the town slash family ritual slash orgy. Oh, well, uh, thank you, um, Greg. Uh, tr- well, Greg, uh, thank you, Greg, so much um, for, for for tolerating us. Yeah, this has you know? been a hard episode. Yeah, in um, a lot of ways. Yeah, and. Um, well, I'm exhausted. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. I just, yeah, I don't know I just why. want to just... stop drinking this wine. I, I'm yeah, going to carry I... on drinking it, but I want to stop talking about this horrible wine. I, I don't know. For some reason, this wine has made everything difficult. Mm. And um, I, yeah, I don't understand why. The tannins? I'm going to say tannins. That's yeah, why. It's, it's, it's because of the tannins and the midichlorians mm. that this wine is just disgustingly, just groggy. Chody. And, Grog inducing, yeah, yeah, nothingness. Exactly. Like, um, 
I regret ever buying this wine. I regret life. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, so much. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to be when you drink this wine. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, if you want to, if you want to have a headache, if you want to, you know, um, just have difficulty speaking and just. Uh, <sighs> For any good reason, I don't know. Maybe you want to fake disability or something like that. Just drink a <laughs> bottle of this wine, and yeah. you'll be good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's good for throwing on the, the ground, low-level race leagues. That's yeah, uh, it's really good for spraying level. over rival racy people. Yeah. If you know, if there's even other people in your league, because we're talking about bottom, bottom leagues. <laughs> it's probably some straight cats running around. Yeah, the yeah, 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 exactly. Some other homeless guys. Like, hey, stop spraying me with that, you dick. Um, do, you, and, do you know what I mean? And it's also, it's outpriced itself for that market. Do you know, it's, it's too expensive it's for what it is. It's too expensive. Congratulations. Pa- Plaza, Plaza Pink, Pink with a shitty... Pink Plaza's a much better name as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so fuck this wine. Yeah, fuck this wine. Uh, I'm I'm happy okay, to well, cut this por- let's, podcast let's, short. Yeah, because, let's fuck it off. But uh, I don't know. I, I have nothing more to say about this, like, headache-inducing, just um, brain stopper. Um, yeah. So maybe okay, maybe that's Sorry. maybe it's for people with incredibly high IQs oh, yeah, that maybe. need to dumb it down for social situations. Maybe yeah, the dumb dumb. Yeah, I guess if you um, don't know when you'd have to do that. Uh, if you feel like you're too smart, um, buy this and drink it. But honestly, you don't want to do that because I just it's it's how long is it going to last for? Also, is it permanent? Yeah. And I feel, I don't feel good right now. I don't feel have good. Have some more at fish, all. mate. Have some more fish. That will sort you out. I feel like that was one of the reasons why I'm not <laughs> feeling that good right now. Okay, so um in summary, this wine is to dumb you down. If you need to be dumbed down, for example, say you have to go into a social situation where you know that the the the, the level of discourse is not going to be to your yeah, level. Yeah. Yeah. Bring this along, and also that's going to sort of maybe pair with. For the... instance, racing trolleys in a Tesco yes. parking lot. Yes. Um, and um, drink it down. We'll dumb you down. Give you that dumb dumb. And. Um... Dumb down. We'll dumb you down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, um, um, yeah, and so this wine, no good. Um, buy better wine. Yeah. Uh, or or buy no wine and buy beer instead. Or Italy, buy... no, Italy, no, no. Yeah, Italy has let us down again, again. Um, just why? Why would Italy do this to I know. us? I think, do you know what I mean? I think that... Have we had a good Italian wine ever? I think to wrap up this podcast, mm. we have to speak in the language that Plaza well, Pink consumers would understand. Um, wine, wine, no good. Wine, wine, not yum, yum. No yum, yum. Do big pop. When pop cork. Big bang. Big bang. Bang bang. Uh, a race car around park park. Uh, do pop. Win win. Spray on no home man. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, your home man. Avoid it because like when see in shop. No, no. No bye. No bye bye. No bye bye. No bye bye. Um, you put down and uh, walk out. You go home, home. Go home, home. If you have home, home. Okay. We end. End, end. End. End now. End. End. Do the end. End. Oh, uh, follow. Full Mouth Feels. Instagram. Love us. Twitter. Love Greg. Greg Love. Reddit. Love Greg, Greg, Greg. Facebook. Love, love Greg. Count down now. Te- what, I, uh, what? You can't count to ten, can no. you? No. Because no. you're, you're all dumbed down. <laughs> no. Just I was thinking like, wait, what? Uh, and when you said countdown, I was oh, like... Oh, you actually can't do... Oh, wow. Okay, wait, ten, nine... The effect's kind of ruined. Eight? There's no sort of... Seven, I don't feel like hanging on for this episode. Six? So I'm not rushing. Five, um, thank you, Greg. I love four, you. Um, three, and we'll see you soon. Two, Bye. One. Do you have an abnormally high IQ? Do your friends struggle to keep up with your intellectual capacity? Do their conversations echo as oafish grunts in your ear? Maybe you're looking to interview for a cabinet position within the administration, or you're simply fed up of being better than everybody. Then it might be time for you to become a dumb down wine daddy. 
with its crude nose and elegant taste and gosh, a tacky presentation, this wine is certainly not for holding. No, no, Obin, this wine is for downing. And I'm going to down it right now, right now. Drink it and, oh, I'm going to fucking kiss my smarts goodbye. You'll be able to watch the footy, enjoy your carlin, and get Brexit done with a quick fucking chug. Don't let the big thing stop you from enjoying the smaller things in life. This is not for people with the big brains. Nah, it, it, it's for the egghead, for the fucking boffins. Give your brain a break. Don't think. Fucking drink, mate.